Nerf Gaming www.youtube.com forward slash Nerf Gaming 1337. Hi guys and welcome to episode 17 from Nerf Gaming. In this episode I'll be giving you a how-to guide on the second boss encounter in Explosive Conflict, the new operation in patch 1.2. As you enter the area, you'll see there's two tanks. On the left, you've got Firebrand, and on the right, you've got Stormcaller. Now, what you want to do is you want to split your raid into two groups, each group consisting of one tank, one, uh, one healer, and two DPS. Now, as soon as the fight starts, you'll have the floor covered in red targets. You just need to make sure you're away from those. Right, the positioning, guys. Now, on firebrand you want to have the tank tanking the boss at the front because he's got a frontal cone attack the same goes with stormcaller they've both got a nasty frontal attack which you do not want to be in front of unless you're a tank um, on stormcaller you want to have the ranged and the melee dps all grouped up actually on stormcaller i'll explain why this is important uh, in a minute now on the firebrand they can spread out a bit more but it's generally a good idea to stay grouped up um, for group group healing. Now Stormcaller's abilities he's got um, his normal attack which he eats attack with and he's also got a debuff he puts onto the tank. Now when he puts this debuff onto the tank the next hit that the tank will take will do an incredible amount of damage and probably one shot your tank. Now, when he's about to do this ability, you'll see his two guns light up. When that happens, the tank needs to turn the boss so he faces the two DPSs that are on the side of the boss. Now, the reason for this is them two DPSs take the hit from the boss rather than the tank who's got the debuff. It's done in proximity, so whoever, the two people closest to the boss will get hit by the beams coming out of his guns. When the two DPS get hit by this, they get a debuff um, which does about 1500 damage a tick, easily hit, heal through it. Now, on Stormcaller, uh, sorry, on um, Firebrand, he's also putting a debuff on the tank which can easily be healed through. So there really is no need for tank swapping on this fire. Now, while this is going on, Stormcaller is continuously targeting random people and putting lightning shields on them. They do a lot of damage, so you just need to move away from them. Now, if someone who's actually close to the boss or on the boss gets them, then they just need to move to the other end and carry on DPSing. Now, Firebrand is continuously targeting random people with a missile attack. When you get targeted, you'll have a yellow target but, uh, target on you, and all you do is just keep moving, and then it'll lock on and stay on the floor, and you can just move away from it. Now, the problem that a lot of people are having at the moment is the graphics for the lightning shields the uh, Stormcaller's beam charge and uh, Firebrand's missile attack is that the graphics are not always showing. So if you're standing there and you're taking damage, even if you can't see anything, just move. Right, and that's pretty much phase one. Now, phase two, the bosses will charge up their uh, pulse, which you'll see that there's two round circles at the back of each boss, which will start glowing with electric. Now once they glow they will knock everyone off off the uh, boss and then it's into phase two. Right, phase two guys you'll have a yellow shield spawn each side of the room. Now when the shield spawns it's important that everyone gets under their shield like the healer 2 DPS one side, healer 2 DPS the other side. Now the idea of this phase is that Storm, uh, Bone, uh, Bone Thrasher, uh, Firebrand is doing mass AoE attack. Now, all the time you're underneath the shield, you don't get hit by it, but it does take health off the shield. Right. There are also adds that spawn inside the shield that just need to be nuked down. 
But it's important not to nuke the shield down by accident because the shield's the only thing stopping you. The tank that's on Stormcaller needs to continuously be running around because he'll be non stop targeted with lightning, uh, lightning shields. So he just carries on running around and making sure that none of the lightning shields are put in an awkward place where he's unable to get back to the boss or the DPS. Where the uh, firebrand tank out, just guys. Wait for the stands there the and carries on tanking unless he gets targeted. It's pretty easy to heal through. Um, a nice little tip that we found is make sure you've turned off auto target, closest target in your preferences because we had someone nuke down one of the shield generators on one of our attempts accidentally. Now this is our first try guys and we was a bit uneven on the on the DPS. We had two good DPS one side and two weaker DPS the other side and the result of this was one side was almost dead and the other one was still at 50% so make sure that you get your DPS sorted. Spend a bit of time on the training dummies and see what DPS people are doing and then position put in setting up the groups will be a lot easier um, and that's pretty much it guys uh, this was our first kill and it did get a, get a bit messy near the end like I say I had to send one of the DPS from Stormcaller over to the other side to uh, help out and uh, I had to then get up onto the tank uh, due to this they one did his range and uh, do insane damage but we was fortunate enough to uh, get them down far enough that the one person alive, which was a healer, was able to take down the last 5k health that uh, Firebrand had. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it guys. It is a bit of a messy kill, but like I say, this is our first uh, attempt. Um, as always guys, cheers for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I took it. Two. Up downs. Up downs, or he's dead. Nuke it, nuke it, nuke it! He doesn't take damage. Yeah. Took 4k health. Takes too much, too low damage. Just shields out like a step, nuke it, 4k, 3k. Yeah, he doesn't take damage. 3 fucking k. Not during this phase, but he might do a shield. 1000. You're a lucky step. Heal yourself and nuke it. He's at 300. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I made that.